Here we are guys getting ready and going racing here at Mosport here in Canada. Chris Lubier who won at Cape America is on the pole with Jordan Davis alongside of him. This is Charlie Smith's last race here. Right back here, Vince, Zachary Fitzwater will be driving the Mace Enterprises cars for the 24 for the rest of the season in the road course races. And then back here, Vince Allen in the races. He's not scheduled for the 24 Red Bull. The team he's racing for in 2016 will field cars for him so he does not miss a race in 2015. But here we go. Louvier leads us down. Back here in the rear of the field, Jordan Fisher and Jesse Turner, they ended up failing the qualifying procedures right there. And, uh, well, they had to go to the tail end of the field. They started 41st and 42nd there. It's Jesse Turner already trying to get real racy here. Oh, boy, these guys are racing really hard. This is the tricky part of the racetrack here. Luckily, we've not had any incidents so far this race. However, coming back to the start finish line, DJ Curtis has a runner under Smith and Davis here, along with Luke Martin. DJ Curtis trying to lead the first lap. Jordan Davis off the turn. Here we go. DJ Curtis led the first lap. Here's Jake Bassinger. He's running 20th right now. He's, he did not really do a good job in practice and qualifying. Bassinger with 14 races to go in the season has the entire race point lead on Ashley Mace, Luke Martin, Nick Mace, and Jesse Turner. Mart er, Bassinger has to continue his consistency to keep that point lead and his hopes at the championship. However, we have caution flags out for this race here. We've never had cautions on road courses, but this is the first time. Two races in a row, Jordan Fisher has troubles. And well, this was a big mistake that the team could not afford here. A blown motor at Arkansas, a last place finish. And here today, he had a the team failed the, the qualifying procedures with Jesse Turner. They had to go to the tail end of the field. And Fisher is probably gonna be really slowing off the pace. He might be able to continue here though. Oh, never mind. That is not what brung out the caution. Ashley Mace trying to run down point leader Bassinger up in front of him. And Ashley Mace second in the point standings. The driver that is 41 points back to Bassinger just wrecked with Charles Jackson. Mace and Jackson. We know Ashley Mace is retiring at the end of the season. Jackson unsure if he'll come back for next season. Them two are going to be out of the race and actually may second in the point standings. A whole race behind Bassinger. This is going to hurt Ashley Mace, Turner, and Fisher today with their points here. They needed to try and run down Bassinger. However, we are back and underway of racing there. Jordan Davis had an amazing restart there. Right there, we think that DJ Curtis spun the tires there. We came back late for the restart there, but Curtis is all over Luke Martin there. Curtis did get rehired on for 2016. He will be driving the 19 CBM for um, 2016. Luke Martin and Jordan Davis have their rides also solidified as long as Jeff James. Charlie Smith, we do not know what his career is going to be like. Um, he right now runs fifth, a good run for him. Nick Perkles is one of the drivers for 2016 that does not have a ride for him. <clears throat> for a full-time ride for 2016 right now is looking for one um, his best bet I can say is maybe Athenon Motorsports there um, they give him a ride or there may be Blue Flare Motorsports 81 car there he's moving his way up to fourth as these guys are training three cars bumper to bumper there with Davis Martin and Curtis there it's a pretty good run for DJ Curtis this team has struggled all season but wow, they are racing really hard there. And boy, Martin is just shoving Davis around the track. Another driver here that will be racing in 2016, but not for this team up there. Wow, Luke Martin up there. Just got nearly turned sideways. Davis holds on to the lead. They're racing really hard. And here comes Siron. Siron was the one we was talking about. Siron. We'll be returning for 2016, but man, they are racing really hard up here. Wow, the action is really fun to watch. Caution flag is out, however. 
they're going to be racing it back to the start finish line. And it's Andreas Allen, guys. Andreas Allen, seventh in the point standings. One of the final few guys that were really in the hunt for this championship. He's in trouble, and that's probably going to end his title hopes. He is like two races back in the point standings, and Allen's title hunt is probably done now. Well, racing right here for the ninth position here. Chris Fluvier and Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater just in front of Vince Allen, who's been running for that team. They accidentally wrecked each other outside of the racetrack. And, well, that's what brought out the caution flag there. But also, Andreas Allen turned right there, the nine car there, and went back up the racetrack. Richard Johnson was there, Dylan Young as well. And then Andreas Allen got stuck in the wall there, and that's what ultimately got him out of the race there and Richard Johnson got spun around as well after the contact with Allen and um, his race is probably going to be done. James Shore Fox is having mechanical problems down there. They are under the hood of that number 28 car there and James Shore Fox comes in this race ninth in the point standings, 107 points back in the, ch in the championship run here with only 13 races to go after this one and losing more points to Bassinger, Sora Fox is done for this title. I will say that here. Here's what happened to Sora Fox here. We think that the clutch may have went out in that number 28 car there. When they came across the finish line, they're racing back to the start finish line. Well, James Sora Fox, he could not continue on, and the car just, I don't know what was wrong underneath that hood there. They are right now working on the car on pit road. They may be able to get it back out on the racetrack there, but James Orofox pulled it alongside in the grass here and eventually just brought it to a halt there. Orofox has had good runs and bad runs. He has not had solid runs like Bassinger has all year. Whenever Orofox was good, he was up in the top 5, top 10, battling for wins. Whenever he was not having them good runs, he was having terrible runs just like here today. Well, back and on a way of racing once again. Siron has made his way up to second. And he is all over Luke Martin in the six there. Oh, Siron nearly gets turned by Davis, and he does get turned. And on the outside the wall there, around goes Siron. The caution flag is probably out there. That is Siron's future boss there, that turning around there. Wow, and the caution flag is probably out. And it is out there. We do not know if we'll be able to get this race back and underway of racing once again. But Nick Perkles on the outside coming from nowhere when Charles Sanford has a run down the straightaway here. Side by side. Old boss owner versus the driver there. Perkles going against Kornweiser and Mace Enterprises. Mountain Dew Racing not even returning for next season. On the inside of Martin, Charles Sanford won here earlier this season. Perkles peeks out in front, but Martin trying to get it back here on the outside. This may be the end here, but we're not sure. Oh, there's the wreck here. The racing back at this finish line. Oh, man, and that wall there, that virtual wall there. Nick Perkles did lead them back to the start finish line, but it is going to be interesting to see if the officials let them get their spots back. But no, Perkles brings it in, and there's a wreck down there. Michael White has flipped over. This is what happened here. They all bunched up together. Bassinger got some damage there. Lynn and White turned around there, and eventually everyone came piling in. Commons took them over. Llamas got some damage. Turner, Fitzwater got back out on the track. But no, that was Martin that brung it in, but I don't know. We're going to have to really check and see here. Not many laps to go here. I'm pretty sure we'll have one more chance at a restart, but Perkles is going to try and get that lead there. Okay, the field did kind of tease us there. The officials decided, hey, let's go back in underway of racing. Let's not waste any more time. Even with the cars right there, not quite ready for the start there. They're kind of side by side there. But back here, Nick Perkles, Luke Martin, they did not be, they was not able to keep their spots and Charles Sanford is going to be the new race leader, the driver that won here for round eight on Sport here. Charles Sanford, Jordan Davis, DJ Curtis, Jeff James, Nick Mace, the top five.
the pace car brings it down in. If we have another caution flag, we might um, be seeing the end of the race here. As the, we are back on our way of racing here, Jordan Davis is looking for his first win since season seven. That was 12 seasons ago. We got a good restart there. So did DJ Curtis. Went underneath the Ford of Charles Sanford. Jeff James has not won a race since round four of California. He's on the outside here. Nick Mace wants to tie Richard Johnson for the most winning driver here. Vince Allen trying to prove a point. He's right here in the mix as well with Eric Burton, Charlie Smith, and Dom Caps, and also Alan Cavanaro who had a good run there. Oh, Jordan Davis may have be having a problem here. He's off the pace here. Up front the field, beating the bang in here. Three wide for the lead with Sanford, Curtis, and James. Oh, and Curtis got him out in the dirt. Now it's up to the 88 and the 8. Jeff James, Charles Sanford. Oh, but they are right there again. DJ Curtis, this is fun to watch. We get another caution, that might be the end. And they know that. They know this might be the end of the race if they get another caution flag. They know most sport is big for Rex. And they know that we might get another caution flag here. Keep checking that pace car there. DJ Curtis trying to tie, or not tie, but trying to be the eighth different driver to get 10 or more wins here. Jeff James, he's trying to be the 21st different driver to get 20, or get to get five or more wins. Charlie Smith, his last race for Horizon Group here, down the inside there. Sean Perkins is coming back for this car for the rest of the season after this race. Dom Katz has came out of nowhere as well. Wow. And then here's Vince Allen, who's had terrible luck for Mace Enterprises, driving for the team he's racing for in 2016. He's in the mix as well. Curtis got out in the dirt. Jeff James is checking out. And Charlie Smith takes over second. Caution flag is out. This might be the end of it here. Jeff James down the straightaway here. Down the back straightaway, Charlie Smith. Looks like he's not going to be able to get there. I don't think we're going to have enough time. If we do, it'll be a one lap dash. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it there. But Charlie Smith's there. He is right there on the back bumper. Giving it all his try. He is there, but not going to be enough. Jeff James is going to lead him back to the start finish line. And he might have just won it there. Not sure what the caution flag is out for. But Jeff James needed this. He needs this. Caution flag is out. And Jeff James is 87 points back to Basslinger. Two races behind in the point standings. Bass er, Jeff James needs this finish here. He needs a run like this. To get himself back in the title hunt with only 13 races to go. However, I do not know if the officials are gonna let them get a one lap dash. Charlie Smith, Charles Sanford, and DJ Curtis sure are hoping so. Smith drove it in deep in the S's. He tried all he could there, but let's check and see what the caution's out for. Here it is here. Ryan Acosta, Malik Nevins battling for 25th. Malik Nevins has usually been battling for 25th all season, so it's nothing usual here. Ryan Acosta, after his win in Atlanta, has kind of struggled to find success again. And Acosta and Mal Malik Nevins is going to finish out of the race. Also right here, Jeffrey Lynn running 13th right there. Randomly just blows up. So Jeffrey Lynn's top 15 run right there. We, do, we know he had an offer for 2016. He declined it and he's not racing for 2016. He does not want to come back. Jeffrey Lynn, he had a good solid finish going for him there, and well, he's gonna be finished out of the race and get a bad finish there. Tough luck for Jeffrey. Well, guys, we're not gonna be able to get this race restarted. Jeff James is gonna win his fifth Sony Cup Series race, and it's gonna be the 21st different driver to get five or more wins. Congratulations to him. Charles Smith, Charlie Sanford did, Charlie Smith did a good job there to try and give it his heart out there. Charles Sanford, winner here for round eight going to come up in third there. Vance Allen for his new team for 2016 gave him a chance here. Fifth place good good run. Dom Caps had a good run here last time. Sixth place there. Jacob Park has a good run here. Alan Cavanaro 
he deserves a great ride for 2016. Does not have one right now. An underfunded team gets a top 10 finish. How about that? Nick Mace, ninth. Dude, Nick Mace. Nick Mace and Jeff James are the only guys that really took advantage of Bassinger only finishing 17th. Bassinger is going to finish right there in 17th position. That was a chance to gain a lot of points here today. And only Jeff James and Nick Mace in the title fight are going to take advantage of it. Leaving this race, Nick Mace will leave with the second place in point stand. He's only 47 points back. But today, it's Jeff James getting his fifth career Sony Cup Series victory. Finally going back to victory lane. His fourth win of the season. Charles, or not Charles, but Jeff James will be the now standing all by himself as the most winning driver of the season so far. Jeff James won the Daytona 500. He won Las Vegas. He won Fontana. Those were round one, two, what, round one, three, and four. And now he wins round 23. Been a while here. Been a couple of races there. Um, like 19 to 18 races since his last win. It's been a while. Jeff James for Corweiser Racing is back on top and back in victory lane. The last time a Corweiser Racing car went to victory lane was Nick Perkles at Ohio. And that was a long time ago. And so Corweiser Racing, this win is going to be really, really sweet to them. And um, yeah, Ford goes to victory lane yet again for this season. I think this might be their 18th win of the season. I'm sure this is their 18th win of the season. So, Ford continues to dominate this season. Jeff James, this run right here really, really helps him out. He gained 17 points on Bassinger here today. So that means that, um, that Jeff James will be only 70 points um, back to Bassinger after this race. And Jake Bassinger is going to be leaving as the points leader and extending his point lead on second place. It was 41 points on Ashley Mace. Today, it is 47 points over Nick Mace in the 48 Lowe Chevrolet. But congratulations to Jeff James on being the 21st different driver to win five or more races in the Sony Cup Series. Let's get you down here. Our finishing results and standings after round 23.